This video is going to be about adjectives, words that describe nouns such as large, dry, green, young and so on. So let's start with a few examples. Le cas est jaune. Le cas est jaune. Le cas est jaune. Le cas est jaune. The cat is young. Le cas est vial. Le cas est fier. Le cas est fier. Le cas est fier. The cat is old. Le lapin est petit. Le lapin est petit. Le lapin est petit. Le lapin est petit. The rabbit is small. Le lapin est grand. Le lapin est grand. Le lapin est grand. Le lapin est grand. The rabbit is big. Le livre est bu. Le livre est bu. Le livre est bu. Le livre est bu. The book is blue. Le livre est pouf. Le livre est pouf. Le livre est pouf. Le livre est pouf. The book is purple. In these examples, we've been using the form the rabbit is small rather than the small rabbit since. In Jemya's year, adjectives can come before the noun or they can come after it and we want to avoid this issue of before, after till later in the video. We're also only looking at masculine singular nouns since the adjective can change if the nouns they're describing are feminine or plural. We'll also look at this later on. So let's continue with some more examples. Le garçon est beau. Le garçon est beau. Le garçon est beau. Le garçon est beau. The boy is good. Le garçon est mauvais. Le garçon est mauvais. Le garçon est mauvais. Le garçon est mauvais. The boy is naughty or the boy is bad. L'audre est nat. L'audre est nat. L'audre est nat. L'audre est nat. The room is clean. L'audre est sale. L'audre est sale. L'audre est sale. L'audre est sale. The room is dirty. Le bur est molle. Le bur est molle. Le bur est molle. Le bur est molle. The butter is soft. Le bur est dur. Le bur est dur. Le bur est dur. The bur, le bur est dur. The butter is hard. Le bouche est pion. Le bouche est pion. Le bouche est pion. Le bouche est pion. The bucket is full. Le bouche est vieille. Le bouche est vieille. Le bouche est vieille. Le bouche est vieille. The bucket is empty. Le chou est gros. Le chou est gros. Le chou est gros. Le chou est gros. The dog is fat. Le chou est maigre. Le chou est maigre. Le chou est maigre. Le chou est maigre. The dog is thin. Le, le coffee est amer. Le coffee est amer. Le coffee est amer. Le coffee est amer. The coffee is bitter. Le lait est sûr. Le lait est sûr. Le lait est sûr. Le lait est sûr. The milk is sour. Le siege est chiar. Le siege est chiar. Le siege est chiar. Le siege est chiar. The cider is clear. Le siege est brouillé. Le siege est brouillé. Le siege est brouillé. Le siege est brouillé. The cider is cloudy. Obviously, this is only a small s s selection, but hopefully covers some of the most common adjectives. Now, in Jemya's year, in common with many other languages, the adjectives have to agree in gender with the noun they describe. We now give the basic rules on how we do this with some examples. So, in general, an E is added to the masculine form to give the feminine form. Le bâtiment est laid. Le bâtiment est laid. Le bâtiment est laid. Le bâtiment est laid. The building is ugly. La maison est laide. La maison est laide. La maison est laide. La maison est laide. The house is ugly. Le garçon est petit. Le garçon est petit. Le garçon est petit. Le garçon est petit. 
the boy is small. La fille est petite. La fille est petite. La fille est petite. La fille est petite. The girl is small. Le moto est var. Le moto est var. Le moto est var. Le moto est var. The car is green. L'herbe est vert. L'herbe est vert. L'herbe est vert. L'herbe est vert. The grass is green. Le bois est brun. Le bois est brun. Le bois est brun. Le bois est brun. The wood is brown. La terre est brune. La terre est brune. La terre est brune. La terre est brune. The soil is brown. Notice that the last consonant of the masculine forms above are not pronounced, but when the e is added to form the feminine, they are pronounced, and the vowel may also be lengthened. If the masculine form already ends in an e, the feminine form is unchanged from the masculine one. Le papier est jaune. Le papier est jaune. Le papier est jaune. Le papier est jaune. The paper is yellow. La pointure est jaune. La pointure est jaune. La pointure est jaune. La pointure est jaune. The paint is yellow. There are some irregular forms, but a few of these fall into small groups, which might help in remembering them. For instance, a few have the feminine form which ends in C-H-E. Le mur est bien. Le mur est bien. Le mur est bien. Le mur est bien, the wall is white. La roc est bien. La roc est bien. La roc est bien. La roc est bien, the rock is white. Le point est frais. Le point est frais. Le point est frais. Le point est frais. The bread is fresh. La croim est fresh. La croim est fresh. La croim est fresh. La croim est fresh. The cream is fresh. And some of them double the final consonant when forming the feminine. Le fai est bar. Le fai est bas. Le fai est bas. Le fai est bas. The fire is low. La marai est bas. La marai est bas. La marai est bas. La marai est bas. The tide is low. Laum est gros. Laum est gros. Laum est gros. Laum est gros. The man is stout. La forme est grosse. La form est grosse. La form est grosse. La form est grosse. The woman is stout. So we'll come back shortly to those that do not fit into any pattern. So adjectives also need to agree with nouns that are in the plural. So here the general rule is simply to add an S to the adjective. Since this is not usually pronounced, there is in most cases essentially no change from the singular form. In a similar way to nouns, if the adjectives end in S, X or Z, they are unchanged in the plural. So here are some examples. La palme est rouge. La palme est rouge. La palme est rouge. La palme est rouge. The apple is red. Les palmes sans rouge. Les palmes sans rouge. Les palmes sans rouge. Les palmes sans rouge. The apples are red. Le lapin est gros. Le lapin est gros. Le lapin est gros. Le lapin est gros. The rabbit is fat. Le lapin sans gros. Le lapin sans gros. Le lapin sans gros. Le lapin sans gros. The rabbits are fat. Le chocolat est doux. Le chocolat est doux. Le chocolat est doux. Le chocolat est doux. The chocolate is sweet. Le chocolat sans doux. Le chocolat sans doux. Le chocolat sans doux. Le chocolat sans doux. The chocolates are sweet. Now let's go on to discuss whether the adjectives come before or after the noun when used in the form the small boy or the old tree. 
Many simple adjectives, including colours, come before. Here are some examples where we've also tried to use cases where the feminine form is irregular, so that these examples also serve to give these irregular forms. Leviaram. 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 Leviaram, the old man. La vieille form. La vieille form. La vieille form. La vieille form, the old woman. Le narco. Le narco. Le narco. Le narco, the black cat. La nerve et pain. La nerve et pain. La nerve et pain. La nerve et pain, the black thorn. Le premier cow. Le premier cow. Le premier cow. Le premier cow, the first time. La première maison. La première maison. La première maison. La première maison, the first house. Le droit cow. Le droit cow. Le droit cow. Le droit cow, the last time. La droit maison. La drawing maison. La drawing maison. La drawing maison, the last house. This last example is not irregular, but we will use drawing to illustrate a different point. When the noun starts with a vowel sound, the S is, as usual, pronounced in the plural. Les drawing jour. Les drawing jour. Les drawing jour. Les drawing jour, the last few days. Les drawings on I. Les drawings on I. Les drawings on I. Les drawings on I, the last few years. The adjectives go after the noun when they involve nationality. Du vin français. Du vin français. Du vin français. Du vin français, some French wine. Un idée au guies. Un idée au guies. Any day or guise. Any day or guise, an English idea. Another class which go after the nouns are past participles. Although we introduce past participles when discussing the perfect tenses, they are also extensively used as adjectives. Examples from English are some fried fish, the tired gardener, a frightened child. So here are some from Genesee. Du pays saint fricoshi. Du pays saint fricoshi. Du pays saint fricoshi. Du pays saint fricoshi, fried fish. La semaine passée. La semaine passée. La semaine passée. La semaine passée, the week passed, but actually it's used as last week. Um, and also note that we put an e on passée. Uh, to it because uh, smoin is feminine, so there's agreement of the adjective in this case. En effa effroi. En effa effroi. En effa effroi. En effa effroi, a frightened child. Le corbarai. Le corbarai. Le corbarai. Le corbarai, the body bard, which is the Guernsey French way of saying constipation. There are a few other adjectives which tend to come after the noun. So, for instance, du siege fre. Du siege fre. Du siege fre. Du siege fre, cold cider. Diao fred. Diao fred. Diao fred. Diao fred, cold water. Diao cowed. Diao cowed. Diao cowed. Diao cowed, hot water. Diao chaired. Diao chaired. Diao chaired. Diao chaired, lukewarm water. Du chocolate du. Du chocolate du. Du chocolate du. Du chocolate du, sweet chocolate. Glagash douce. Glagash douce. Glagash douce. La gosh douce, sweet cake. Du siege kyar. Du siege kyar. Du siege kyar. Du siege kyar, clear cider. En an trachil. 
An am trachil. An am trachil. An am trachil, a quiet man. Okay, so let's end with a chat about the adjectives beautiful, new and big. So these adjectives have some more complex features. So let's start with beautiful. The feminine forms are relatively straightforward. La belle fieuve. La belle fieuve. La belle fieuve. La belle fieuve, the beautiful flower. Les belles fieuves. Les belles fieuves. Les belles fieuves. Les belles fieuves, the beautiful flowers. However, the masculine form changes if it is followed by a vowel sound. Les bieux gardins. Les bieux gardins. Le bio gardin. Le bio gardin, the beautiful garden. Le bio gardin. Le bio gardin. Le bio gardin. Le bio gardin, the beautiful gardens. Le bal audre. Le bal audre. Le bal audre. Le bal audre, the beautiful room. Le bio audre. Le bio audre. Le bio audre. Le bio audre. The beautiful rooms. If the plural is followed by a vowel in both the masculine and feminine form, then the S or X is pronounced in the usual way. Now let's go on to talk about the adjective new. Now it appears to have two masculine forms and two feminine forms, but that's because the word new can be used in two different ways. So let's talk about first about meaning number one. And here are two examples. He has put on a new shirt this morning, or we are living in a new area. In both cases, there's no reason to suppose it's a brand new. The first is presumably a freshly laundered shirt, and the second is an area new to us, but, but not just created. So the form of new used in this case is nouvel, if the noun is masculine, and nouvelle if the noun is feminine. Il a akatai a nouvel moto. 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 He has bought a new car. Il a mis un nouvel commise à ma taille. Il a mis un nouvel commise à ma taille. Il a mis un nouvel commise à ma taille. Il a mis un nouvel commise à ma taille. He has put on a new shirt this morning. Whether they are in fact brand new is irrelevant. They are new to the person concerned. The masculine plural form is nouveau, and this is discussed at the end of video six because nouve has an e ending, and so the plural form is nouveau. Right, second meaning, this does mean brand new. So for a shirt, it would just have been bought at the shop, and for a car, it would be just out of the showroom. So we can use the same examples, but now meaning brand new. Il a akatai a ne moto. 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 He has bought a brand new car. Il a mis a neuve commise à ma taille. Il a mis a neuve commise à ma taille. Il a mis a neuve commise à ma taille. Il a mis a neuve commise à ma taille. He has put on a brand new shirt this morning. On the island we have La Neuve Rue and La Neuve Maison. These were named when the road or the house were brand new. Finally, big is gra. One might think that the feminine form is grad, and indeed this is used before vowel sounds. So one says Le Gra Gavdin, the big garden, but La Grad École, the big school. However, before non-vowel sounds, the masculine form is still used before feminine words. La grande rue, the big road. La grande maison, the big house. There are several grande rue in the island, including the high street, as well as several grande maison. And they are always pronounced grand in the Norman French style, rather than grand as in standard French.